Today I'm going to discuss how much mathematics is used in quantitative finance. This is a question I often get from many of my students and this is uh, important therefore to discuss and I there I'm therefore making this video. Well, it depends which area of finance quant finance you will be uh, working in. Uh, but there's no doubt that quant finance is uh, mathematical. It is a technical area and therefore you need to have uh, understanding of uh, different topics in mathematics, not all topics in mathematics, but you need to have some understanding of uh, certain topics. Uh, it's no doubt uh, a, an area uh, not suitable for people who fear math. If you absolutely don't like maths you will definitely not enjoy quantity finance so stay away from it but if you have some interest in mathematics but you are not a math genius as such but you are good with numbers i think this is one really good career for you right but how much math is used and what are the topics used in uh, quant finance well at a broad level you need to have understanding of these topics like you need to have understanding of linear algebra well linear algebra is extremely important even to study statistical modeling machine learning so that's you know it goes without saying that if you really want to do any modeling you need to have good understanding of linear algebra you know matrices and so on uh, calculus extremely important if you want to do anything quantitative right any quantitative research you really need to have understanding of differentiation limit uh, integration and so on coordinate geometry just to find distance between points and planes and so on so important numerical analysis i'm not sure if you have done numerical analysis in school level or uh, in in colleges university but also quite important uh, statistics right understanding of some statistic like sampling and so on it's it, again you can argue whether it's statistic is mathematics or not but if you have some understanding of high school statistics it really helps to sort of build on uh, that understanding and and study advanced stuff stochastic methods most uh, people do not have uh, understanding of uh, stochastic calculus people normally know the normal calculus but if you really have to go beyond that, you have to study stochastic calculus. If you're coming from physics background, pure maths background or statistics background, I'm quite sure you have done some stochastic uh, calculus. Optimization, right? Different types of optimization. Uh, it's very important to also learn those uh, topics. Well, optimization is also part of numerical analysis. If you have done any numerical analysis course, that really helps. But not all topics are used everywhere. And I'm going to talk about that. But how much is uh, used in which area of quant finance? That's important to know. And then you can choose accordingly, right? Then you can also focus accordingly, right? Um, first of all, you need, not be, you need not be a math genius to work in quant finance. Uh, however, some firms actually look for math geniuses like you should have represented your country in mathematical olympiad or computer science olympiads and so on you should have a good ranking in some coding competition and so on so these are trading firms not all trading firms by the way but there are trading firms which are very particular about who they hire they don't hire too many people they hire only highly intelligent mathematically intelligent uh, people right and uh, you know i have, I have come across uh, firms which are very particular about uh, your mathematical intelligence and they are least bothered about your qualification as such i mean if you have just a bachelor degree that's still fine for uh, for them they can hire you they do not need a phd uh, in mathematics uh, for for that role but they need uh, just an undergrad but who is really good in mathematics so you know there are some roles but there are also some firms which are very particular about your education in mathematics that means you must have strong education in mathematics you should have a phd or master's degree in computer science uh, mathematics uh, statistics uh, or physics but either ways most quants quants have decent level of math skills wherever you work as a quant finance you will not find someone who is completely illiterate in mathematics that will uh no that's that's never going to be the case anywhere <clears throat> 
but trading firms mostly focuses uh, focus on you know topics like statistics uh, probability and computer science topics like data science uh, data structure and algorithms different types of algorithms to optimize your code uh, probability is extremely extremely important for them uh, they don't expect you to know stochastic calculus and so on there hardly any stochastic calculus used by the buy side firm that means the trading firms who you know um in, in, into more of 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 uh, making short term uh, or taking advantage of short term opportunities in the financial market uh, but some trading firms may go beyond it not not all trading firms are particular about uh, you know topics like uh, optimizations uh, topics like stochastic calculus and so on but most will require just uh, statistics and and probability and and algorithms computer science algorithms but some firms may go on beyond it asset management firms don't care much about this basic mathematical topics they will ask very uh, sophisticated very advanced statistical econometric modeling techniques they will ask you about questions about arima modeling arch guards ecm models and vector auto regression uh, they won't ask you stochastic calculus they will ask heavy or very uh, advanced statistical modeling econometric modeling questions they may even ask highly uh, you know machine learning uh, program uh, uh, your ma- they will check your machine learning skills but they will list be list bothered about uh, probability and statistics and so on but then set management forms like blackrock and so on they are also a bit particular about your education that means they expect you to have already done your education in some quantitative field so you know therefore they don't care much about this basic mathematical skills such as understanding of linear algebra probability however let me tell you in some firms they will ask these questions also they may even have a written test where you have to write uh, a written test uh, on on these topics uh, but if you working on the sell side or more on the derivative side you will be using quite a bit of mathematics right uh, all areas of market risk counterparty credit risk uh derivative pricing of derivative validation of this model you will you will have to be a good mathematics guy again you don't have to be a genius but you should have sound mathematical knowledge in various areas you know the ones that i discussed before if you are into credit risk modeling uh in the banking side you will yeah you won't be using uh, a lot of mathematics you will still be using some like the regression level models you un- understanding of sampling probability and optimization helps we don't have to use let's stochastic calculus and so on okay if you work in the insurance side you again have to be really good in mathematics especially the co- the quants or more into actuarial calculations or the build models and you know catastrophic modeling and so on they have to be really good with probability and advanced statistics so it's quite important right so depending on where you are going to be working uh you will have to prepare accordingly right uh if you are re- really interested really keen on making a career in quant finance you have to learn some mathematics right? if you haven't done mathematics in college university you have to do it yourself either read some books do some courses do some certifications on coursera edx or on can academy probability linear algebra calculus i think just to begin with and then move to more advanced stuff college level math statistic is enough like you don't have to be a theoretical physicist to work in quantitative finance i mean it used to be the case only theoretical physicist or mathematician used to be preferred but i think those days are gone i think there are much less entry barrier nowadays uh, but in some areas there may be a requirement of you know this uh, you know top notch uh, guys but if you really fear mathematics i would prefer not to prefer uh, you no know, go for this career you can choose something else uh, if you're really keen on working in finance and in you can also find opportunities in audit in in you know non quantitative area of risk management you can work in compliance kyc and and you can also make a wonderful career out of that uh, well in finance you need to be somewhat good in in num- with numbers right you can't be an absolutely bad with numbers and still working in finance that is almost uh, not uh, possible i would say but you don't have to be really good at uh, these topics that i have discussed in order to work in kyc or in let's say you are doing audit related work you know you don't need that kind of uh, skills
right as long as you are good with some high school mathematics you you are good right so these are things i want to share as always thanks for watching guys and thanks for supporting this channel if you are if you have questions do let me know in the in the comment section i will try to make videos on that thanks